news. And Cheryl, so many people watching and waiting to hear what the Fed six, says next. There are several um, Fed speakers coming up today. My guess is they are not going to be dovish, but of course you got the big jobs report tomorrow. So uh, where do you come down on what the Fed's positioning is and what that means for the market? Yeah, I think that's um, you know clearly the question of the day and where we think um, you know, I think there's clearly the view that the Fed still has work to do here. Um, but there's also the sort of balancing realization that there is a lagged effect of these monetary tightening changes um, that probably play out over the next two to three quarters. Um, so it's a delicate balance, and that's why the data is so dependent, uh, so important right now. Uh, but I don't think there's going to be any significant shift in tone in the near term. Um, jobs report will clearly be important, um, more so the CPI print next week, um, as t as in uh, where we're seeing inflation um, trending from here, and, and we're still pretty concerned about the stickiness of, of some aspects of, of that inflation print. Which part of Mr. Market's personality becomes the most dominant here? Is it the bullish sort of upbeat tone we've seen the last several sessions this week, all these markets up by about 5 percent, or is it, you know, this bearish kind of scary market we saw last week and before? I, I think we'd be more in the camp that there's probably more more downside and, and more volatility to come as we enter earnings season. Um, we look ahead to bank earnings kicking off next week. Um, and, you know, I think it is one where clearly there's a benefit to higher rates. But at the margin, I think we're becoming more concerned about, um, you know, accelerating a credit cycle here, stopping buybacks, weak capital markets. Um, so I think there's a lot of pressures that are going to start to outweigh some of the rate and loan growth benefits we've seen for the last couple of quarters. Um, and that's particularly going to be evident at some of the bigger banks um, with large capital market businesses. So you'd steer clear of the big banks, but you do like re regional financials. I do. I think that's the clearest way to play um, higher rates. And um, so it's a more pure play business model. There's less exposure to um, capital markets, investment banking, which have been weaker. There's less exposure to consumer, which is where we think you know, the first shoe to drop could be in that sort of lower income, lower FICO score consumer. Um, the regionals and even into the community banks are much more tilted to commercial lending, um, have a faster repricing loan book, and I think deposit betas will stay low. So it's still more of that, um, you know, revenue growth story playing through with still some normalization. Uh, but the earnings picture it is certainly brighter there in our view. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.